You fought well, but it is over, Bill, Lord of Awesome. Give me the One Ring. You haven't won yet, Vade on the Black. Don't be a fool. Give me the ring, and I shall spare you. There's no place left to run. <laughs> Running? Didn't anyone tell you? Running is so last year. Flying is where it's at. Onward, Dragon X, to the fires of Mustafa, to destroy the evil ring forever. No! What's today's epic adventure? A dark alien wizard from space is trying to rule the Seven Kingdoms with a magical ring forged in the heart of a dying sun, and only Bill, Lord of Awesome, can stop him. Oh, is that all? Nope, I'm just getting started. Okay, well, I'm off to work. Dad is downstairs and he'll take you to the park later. Now be good for Dad and have fun. You're... you're leaving? But... but what if you get sick again? You should stay home and rest, and I can look after you. Don't worry, dear. I know I was really unwell and tired before, but I feel much better now. The doctors say it's okay for me to go back to work. How can I have fun when I'm worried my mum's breast cancer might come back? I wish there was a quest I could go on to destroy cancer forever. In Medi HQ. We wish that too. Indeed. Though we cannot yet rid the world of cancer forever, we can help you understand why it happens. What? Medi kids? I'd be scared too if my mom had been sick, but don't worry. We're going to take you through Mediland and explain about breast cancer. Mediland, a planet that looks and works just like the human body. What are we waiting for? I like your attitude, Bill. First stop, the breast. In the breast. Here we are, inside a breast. It's so busy. The main job of a woman's breast is to make milk for babies. The milk is made in lobules and then transported by ducts to the nipple where the baby can get it. Most people don't think about it, but men have breasts too. They're very small though and don't produce milk. Did you know that the breasts are glands? Glands make things like milk, sweat or hormones. As you can see, breasts are made up of lots of cells. Almost there. I can't. Do it! On second thought, no, I can't. Night, night! In fact, the cells work so hard, they get worn out and need to be replaced. Uh, you okay? Yeah, this is where I live now, so, um, if someone could build a house around me, that'd be great. Take a break, I've got you covered. To replace a worn-out cell, a healthy one copies itself by dividing. All the dividing is very carefully controlled. Hi! Hello! We act as messengers, telling cells when to split and grow. Some of which is done by hormones and growth factors. This is what normally happens. Normal is good. I'm a big fan of normal when it comes to health. Me too. But in breast cancer, some cells start behaving badly. I'm done. Here comes trouble. The bad cells start splitting out of control, making more and more bad cells. I'll just make clones to work for me. Good luck with that. I'm not working. Me neither. Wow, things changed pretty fast. Victory is ours. These bad cells grow together to form a lump. There are two kinds of lumps, benign and malignant. Benign lumps are made up of cells that keep to themselves and don't spread. We just want to be left in peace to focus on our music. We're making music? I just like banging on things. Here we have malignant lumps, which are cancer, where the badly behaved cells cause trouble for the other cells around them. They might spread to other parts of the body where they can also cause problems. Got milk? Of course you do. Malignant lumps are cancer. With breast cancer, there may be changes in how the breast looks or feels. Get off me. But we love annoying you. 
The first thing to notice might be a lump in the breast or armpit. You have the cutest dimples. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Keep it up and you're going to have the cutest bruises. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. The breast might also look bigger than usual or have a different shape or have changes to the skin. We're about to be smaller and pancake shaped in two seconds unless we get moving. The breast or armpit might feel painful too. You may want to get out of the way, Bill. You won't get any argument from me. Thanks, Pump. These are all clues that it might be breast cancer and need to be checked out by a doctor. Gee, get us back to base. The doctors carefully examine the breasts and armpits. If they think it might be breast cancer, they'll organise a visit to the hospital clinic. At the clinic, they'll do tests to find out what's going on. An ultrasound scan uses sound waves to show exactly where there are any lumps. A mammogram uses x-rays to find lumps. The doctors will also do a biopsy. For a biopsy, a needle is used to take a sample of cells from the lump. These cells are then sent to a lab for a closer look. Sometimes an MRI scan is needed too. This takes very detailed pictures of the breasts. Once the doctors are sure it's breast cancer, they may do a scan to see if it has spread anywhere else. When the tests are done, the doctors decide on the best treatment. Treatment is when we get rid of the cancer cells, right? Indeed, and to do that, we'll need the right tools. The main treatments for breast cancer are an operation, medicines and radiotherapy. There are different types of medicines, including chemotherapy, hormone therapy and targeted therapy. Oh yeah, these treatments should help us get rid of those bad cells. The treatment plan might involve just one of these or a combination of the different treatments. Many kids, let's treat. Back in the breast. An operation means cutting the lump out. The surgeons remove the lump and some of the area around it to make sure they've got all of the bad cells. Hear that, boys? It's time to go. Maybe instead of cutting us out, you could, uh, tickle us out. If the lump is too big, a mastectomy might be needed. A mastectomy means removing the whole breast. The surgeons can build a replacement breast afterwards. A mastectomy isn't right for everyone. No! Other treatments are sometimes used before the operation to make the lump smaller and easier to remove, or afterwards to help make sure the cancer is gone and to stop it coming back. One of these treatments is chemotherapy, or chemo for short, which means using medicines to destroy the cancer cells. The medicines are very powerful and are very good at killing cells, good as well as bad cells that divide a lot, like cancer cells. Oh, come on. I was making this guy so he'd clean my room. If it makes you feel any better, I wouldn't have cleaned it. I probably would have made it messier. Chemo can also damage normal body cells that divide a lot, like hair cells and the cells lining the stomach. This causes side effects like hair loss, feeling sick and tiredness. The side effects stop once chemo stops. Next up is radiotherapy treatment, which means using radiation to kill off the cancer cells. There are different kinds, but they all work in a similar way. Doctors use very small amounts of radiation on the entire breast and sometimes aim an extra boost where the cancer cells are. Are you lot ready for your boost? Is no an acceptable answer? Radiotherapy can make you feel tired and can also cause skin redness and soreness. Why are hormone and growth factor helping the bad guys? It's not their fault they don't realise these are bad cells and they are just doing their usual job helping cells split and grow. This is why doctors also use hormone therapy and targeted therapy to treat breast cancer. These medicines stop the bad cells splitting out of control. Huh, how is that gonna stop me? Simple, the medicines interrupt the messages carried by hormones and growth factors that tell cancer cells to keep dividing and growing. I kinda like it in here. Targeted therapy targets cancer cells more than normal cells, so it causes fewer side effects. 
Most of the time, these medicines are given straight into the bloodstream through a tube. Other medicines can be given as injections under the skin. Is it safe to get back to work? Yeah, they're all gone. But I still don't get why it all happened in the first place. No one's really sure why breast cancer happens, but we do know that there are some things that make it more likely. For example, a woman is more likely to get breast cancer if she's over 50. If she's had breast cancer before, or if any other family members have had it. All these things are risk factors, but they don't mean breast cancer will definitely happen. And remember, men can get breast cancer too, although it is less common. There are ways of reducing the risk of breast cancer and spotting it earlier if it does happen. We know that regular exercise helps reduce the risk and may stop cancer coming back again. Keeping a healthy weight helps too, so watching what you eat is important. After treatment, the doctor will recommend a mammogram every year for five years. Which reminds me, a mammogram is also recommended every two years for all women over 50 to check for any lumps before they start causing any problems. If there's a family history of breast cancer, checkups may start sooner. This helps catch cancers early, before they get big or start spreading and causing problems. I think now is a good time to head back to HQ. It's upsetting to find out that you or someone you love has cancer. People deal with it in different ways. They might be angry, depressed, frightened, shocked or numb. I was really sad and scared when I found out my mum was sick. The treatments for breast cancer can be difficult too. Your mum probably hasn't been able to do all the things she wanted to do. I remember how fed up we both were when we couldn't go on holiday this year. But it's over now, right? My mum won't get sick again. Hopefully not. But even with the best treatment, sometimes cancer can come back. This can make your mum, you and your whole family anxious at times. It's normal to feel like that. Don't ever feel like you have to keep your fears or worries to yourself. Talking about it with family or friends can really help. Remember, you are not alone. Breast cancer is common, and many other families are going through the same experience as you. There are many support groups, counsellors and websites that can help you and your family. Hmm, I learned a lot today. Let me make sure I understand it all. Breast cancer is when the cells in the breast behave badly and start splitting out of control. The bad cells form lumps called tumours. The doctors do tests on the tumour to see whether it's cancer. If they find cancer, they'll try and get rid of it using surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, hormone therapy or targeted therapy or a combination of treatments. There are lots of people who can help my mum, me and my family. Aced it. Indeed. And now armed with knowledge, we shall send you back home. Thanks, Medikids. Breast cancer is scary, but understanding it helps. It's what we do. Have you been sitting here all day? You really need to get out more. Mum, trust me, I couldn't have gotten out more than I did today. How was work? It was great to be back. Look, Bill, I know you're scared about my cancer coming back, but... It's OK, Mum. I mean, sure, I get worried sometimes, but I understand all about breast cancer now, and I'm not so scared. How'd you get so smart? I think it must run in the family. So what's that you're playing? My new favourite game, The Adventures of the Medi-Kids.